In this video, we're testing out Car Guy Super Cleaner. So let's get started now. All right, today we're going to test out the Car Guy's professional detailing super cleaner on the 98 Beetle. Before we get Project Scarab up and running, some of the things we need to do is kind of get everything cleaned out. And if you look, uh, this car has not been detailed in a while and there's some stains and stuff um, to that. We're gonna see how it doesn't get it out. And what we're going to do is actually do half the seat and I'm gonna show you how well it works. And then we'll move on to other parts of the interior and detail the whole thing. But I would just wanna do the half of this seat to show you guys what this product will do, how it'll work, and we'll take it from there. There is a nifty carpet brush and that's going to be linked down in the description below. So if you're interested in these two things, you can find them below. But uh, I'm just going to take this out here. Nice and firm. And then we're going to take care of this. The process is pretty simple. What we're going to do is simply uh, spray this seat, uh, let it soak just a little bit, scrub it in, and then get it off with the towel. So we're going to see how this works. All right, so there you have it. Kind of a nice uh, drastic change. Uh, it's probably still just a little bit damp. So we're going to see what happens when it dries. Um, but I mean, it did it did pull out the, the stain. What I don't like is that brush is just a little bit too stiff for the seats. It was kind of pulling up the, it's ruining the fabric. So I stopped using it. I did use it real, real light to kind of scrub a bit. Um, but you know, as I look in here, I do, I do see that it's kind of pulled back to that gray, but it is damp to the touch. I did use quite a bit to kind of pull that all out. Um, definitely, discolored and discoloration of the rags so you can see some of the dirt in there but it is spread out pretty well uh, just constantly changing it and flipping it over um, you know but I did want to get half of it and uh, see what it did um, I'm actually gonna do the other side I'm gonna do half the other side and then we'll come back and take a look after we give it a chance to dry a bit about a half hour and I've let it dry a little bit still a little damp to the touch but you can see a definite difference uh, you can see the, the kind of the, the grime just came out of the seat. Um, so we're going to continue on and do the rest of it. Um, even the driver's seat, you can see right where I stopped. Let me pull this out and get you closer. You can see that, you know, we're going to try and make sure we can get this out. But the only thing I didn't like is that the brush I used is very, very firm. Um, and it started pulling up. And I hope you can see that if that pulls it up. It was starting to ruin the fabric so I think that's why I stopped using it but uh, it really did work well so we just went with the rag I was actually surprised I got so much out of it with the rag so we're going to continue and do the rest of the car now this product can also be used on interiors but you know you look at like that kick panel it says that you uh, can just use the damp cloth spray it onto the cloth but that's so bad that just scrubbing it like this you need to be able to get in there so even though it's not recommended, this is just plastic. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray it on. Look at that. It's really just coming right off. So you see, uh, yeah, I don't know if I'd do this on leather or anything, but this is just really just plastic. You can see the finish is even coming off on these uh, old beetle doors. And they, this is a known problem on this. I hope you can see that with the sun. But uh, it's a known issue that's been comes off. But um, you can see it, it, it's bringing life back into it. So Project Scarab is well on its way. Uh, we are doing some finalization as to as to the. Um, the final parts that we're going to be using to lift up Project Scarab and get him off the ground, get him lifted, uh, the final height and things like that. 
but uh, we're getting there now we're gonna do the carpets too eventually um, however uh, as you can see I got a lot to do I let my daughter borrow the car and she's left a bunch of stuff in there so we've got to clean it out uh, it's got to be vacuum before we do that but I did want to get the seats it is a nice day I wanted to get the seats done and uh, just kind of get started on this um, you can see the rag there uh, there's a lot of dirt that came out of this car so you know we're just kind of working on it the back seat will get done although the back seat isn't really that bad I'm not really worried about it right now um, but like I said we're gonna do the whole thing over and kind of just clean it out I mean it's gonna be it's gonna be an off-roader so I mean it's bound to get dirty again but let's start off with something clean and, and detailed and you know looking good for the first photo shoot and things like that and if you like this video and you want to see this project get built make sure you hit that like like and subscribe button and we'll see you next time